All right, good morning, everyone. My name is Juliette Walleitner, and I'm an assistant professor in the Literacy, Early, Bilingual, and Special Education Department in the Kremen School of Education and Human Development. Um, and the title of my talk is Communication as the Key to Connecting with Students. And so when we just start off thinking about what communication is, I have a definition for you. Communication is a two-way process of reaching a mutual understanding in which participants exchange information, news, ideas, and feelings, and they create a shared meaning. Communication really is about building connections. And so I have this image here, which I love, that shows just how we make connections. And I feel like this is what we really want to think about when we think about our Fresno State. We want them to feel connected to us as faculty and staff. We want them to feel connected to one another. And we want them to feel connected to the services that Fresno State provides and Fresno State as an institution. And at the heart, uh, or when we make those connections with students and fe students feel those connections, really what happens is we develop relationships. The students develop relationships with one another, they develop relationships with us, and they develop relationships with Fresno State. So I come to you today, um, this is my 20th year in education. Uh, I started my career as a high school teacher at Toke High School in Lodi, and that is a group of my students in 2001 that I actually brought to Fresno State for a journalism competition, never imagining I would one day work here, and there they are with their awards. And then um, in the time that I've been at Fresno State, I've only been here four years, but I've had this really unique opportunity that I have been able to teach first year students in the first year experience program, um, upper division undergraduate students, credential students working uh, to become multiple subject elementary teachers, and then doctoral students in the um, doctoral program in educational leadership. So that's given me this really unique perspective to think about teaching. And one of the things that I've realized we have to really remember with teaching is that there is this power differential. As much as we might try to erase that and make students feel comfortable, we have to remember that we are the ones in charge. We are the ones that stand between them and their degrees. So it's really important for us to think about how we communicate with our students. And I think that one of the first ways that we open up those lines of communication is through the syllabus. That's where we set out our expectations for students. That's where we set out our expectations for ourselves. That's how we begin to think about or to communicate with them how we will support them. A lot of times the content in our classes for students, it seems really complex, and it may seem like it's going to be impossible for them to master over the course of the semester. But in that syllabus, we set out for them how we're going to make that impossible possible. And yes, so ultimately the syllabus is um, it's a contract between us and the students where we're laying out exactly what we're going to do and we're also laying out what we expect of them. And so it's important that we think about how can we be as clear as possible in that communication with them. Um, Another way that we communicate with students is through our feedback to them. So I teach a lot of writing courses, and that means I do a lot of feedback for my students. Um, and so, but when we're providing that feedback, part of it is, you know, helping students to understand how they can improve and what they can do better. But another big part of it is showing our belief in them, showing them, you've got this, you can do this, I believe in you. And that's... Um, I just think that's a really critical component for those communications, for building up students to lead them to success um, with the work that they do. So I've talked a lot about what faculty can do to communicate with students, but it's also important to realize that communication goes both directions. Um, we communicate with them, but our students also need to communicate with us. However, when we think about that communication, we need to remember that power differential. And remember that often we are scary to our students. They may not want to approach us because again, we are the ones that bubble in those grades at the end. And so we need to think about how we create safe opportunities for our students to communicate with us. And so I have just a couple things I want to share that I've done that I've found help to open up those lines of communication with my students. One thing I do is at the end of each class, I take five minutes to invite my students to reflect on their learning. I ask them, what have you learned today? What's something new you learned? What questions do you have? And then share anything else that you think I should know about. And so this 
has been really beneficial to me as an instructor because I learned so much. I learned, you know, what new things, what stood out to them from the day's or class session. I also learned what questions they have. So what holes were there in my instruction that I then need to fill in, maybe with that student individually or with the whole class. And I also learn about my students' lives. As President Castro said, our students have so much going on in their lives, and we don't always have a chance to learn about that. But when they have, feel like they have this safe space to explain their idea or explain what's going on, we can learn about them and then learn about how to support them. Because really, what I want to do is create a welcoming environment for my students to come to me to share their thoughts, to share what's going on in their lives. So. Um, this is kind of um, my unintended consequence. When I first started at Fresno State, I was teaching in this first year experience program, and I realized I wanted to know what was happening with these students throughout their time at Fresno State. So I started a research project. Over the last four years, I've tracked 13 students that I've interviewed three times a year for 25 to 30 minutes each time. The unintended consequence I talked about is I've developed these really close connections and relationships with those students. And I didn't realize when I started, but I have become a guide for them. They'll text me on the weekend, hey, Dr. Walleitner, what do you think about this? I have written so many letters of recommendation for them um, because we've developed this really close relationship. We have that communication that led to those connections that led to that relationship. And I'm excited to be able to share that of the 13, six are graduating this semester, four are graduating in the fall, and the remaining three will be graduating next spring. So thank you so much.